tell the truth, I don't care. OG Paris vlogs. I also met a Victoria's Secret model. Crowds of paparazzi. What's kind of going on for my next chapter in life? It's not even a midlife crisis. I'm 20. Myself into a not so healthy relationship. Like sometimes you just gotta keep learning your lesson until you learn your lesson. It took away my confidence a lot. Yo, consistency is key to any sort of success. If there's any cute boys, I think I just need to build a roster, turn my emotions off. Guess who's the birthday boy? I love you. It's his birthday. He's officially one years old today. Okay, let's just go straight into my skincare because I need it. What's up guys? <laughs> Do you have to bark? I'm filming. You want me to open the door for you? Oh my god. Oh fuck. What did I just do? Am I the only one that gets really offended when I bring my dog into my room to like hang out with me and they're immediately like scratching at the door trying to get out like... It's rude, but okay. I decided to wait to do my skincare on camera, but I just cleansed my face like 10 minutes ago now, and now my skin's starting to feel dry. So let's get straight into this. I'm skipping the intro today. Let's go, ladies. Just cleansed my face with this Knibo Scrubbing Mud Wash. I use this Fresh Rose Toner. I think you're supposed to put it on like a cotton pad, um, but I just go straight in like this. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, guys, I actually really need to give you guys a little life update. I am home alone for a week. My mom literally just left at... 2 a.m. last night to go to New York to visit my sister, which I'm honestly like really jealous that I'm not gonna be with my mom for her. I mean, it's not her first time in New York, but like her first time in what, like, I don't know, like 15 years. Actually, no, definitely longer. Just use this random pore detox serum. I'm on the hunt for a good good face serum. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Moisturizer time. So can we just take a second to look at my nails? I'm obsessed. Inspired by Maroon, Taylor Swift song. My whole TikTok for you page right now is Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know who Travis Kelsey was before. Taylor Swift, which apparently is like a triggering subject for men. I'm using this moisturizer that I got when I was in Japan. Honestly, I'm obsessed obsessed with all the beauty products that I bought when I was in Japan. Fun fact, I actually filmed a huge haul from what I got from Japan and it was gonna go in my Japan vlog, but it was like such a headache to edit everything because I got so much that I just didn't keep it in. I honestly really need to do a haul soon. I feel like I could definitely do a really good collective haul from like over the past few months. But yeah, Japanese beauty products do it so good. Hopefully it's not too noisy. I just put my fan on. Oh, that feels so good. So I'm depressed. Actually, no, I need to stop like throwing that word around lightly. But I'm like, Ugh. but I'm feeling really like, what's the word? Nostalgic. This morning I was watching my New York vlogs, specifically the one from 2021 November when I got signed. Overall, just that time in my life was just like, so good. By the way, I'm mixing this Japanese, this sunscreen, but this is what it's called. That with this drunk elephant anti-pollution sunshine drops. I just mix that because I find the sunscreen washes me out and I like this because it adds some bronze. Anyway, honestly, when I feel like I need some inspo for filming, I actually watch my own YouTube videos. Actually, I watch my own YouTube videos, especially my vlogs all the time. Simply is just like memories, which is why I feel like I know I get a lot of comments sometimes on when I post my vlogs. Like, oh, the camera's shaky or oh, like, I don't know, the quality is not that great. To tell the truth, I don't care like obviously i want you guys to enjoy my content but when i film my vlogs i mainly just really enjoy kind of just doing it as a video diary for myself to look back on which is why like sometimes yeah i'll have bits of footage in there that is shaky and the camera's quality is not that great okay well i could just choose to not keep it in or i could just keep it in anyway and not give a fuck like because i've mainly been using it as a diary i don't care like like these type of videos sit down videos i'm a little bit more like picky with quality and making sure that it's a good video but, but for my vlogs it's like more for the mems ew i just said mems <laughs> i just use this like eye cream god i'm really going all in with skincare today i just i want to look good for you guys i don't like how bright the lights on my mirror is can i even like oh stop i've had this for two years and i had no idea you could make it brighter or dimmer what? I learn something new every day. I have the best skincare routine. I actually want to do a separate video on skincare routine, but I'm not fully done perfecting it yet. Let's do this. I'm just going to put all the products I use in the description. So if you see me use a product and I'm busy talking to you guys and don't say what it is, just go check out the description. So as I mentioned earlier about how I'm going to be home alone for a week because my mom's gone to New York. She's going to be coming back on, I think, Monday or Sunday. I think Monday, which like sounds kind of fun. Let me just tell you guys something. So I live in the countryside of England, which is the type of place that you you kind of need a car to like get anywhere and we have a car but i don't have my license oh but guys i actually have a story to tell you guys hold on 
this. Quick little story time for you guys. I don't know if I've mentioned it in a vlog before. I think I definitely mentioned it on TikTok. Last year, right before I moved to LA, I went on a little fun night out with some friends in London. And I got absolutely like belligerently drunk. And I woke up, my bag was fine, but the inside content of my bag was completely gone. I'm talking my glasses, my wallet, my phone charger, like everything. I had no idea what had happened to it. I thought it had gotten stolen. Maybe my bag fell open and everything fell out. It was the biggest mystery. So I had to cancel all my cards, I had to get all new ones. Also, keep in mind, I actually, a lot of people still make fun of me because I don't have my driving license, but I can drive. I can drive. If it's an automatic car, I can pretty much, I mean, a two-year-old can drive an automatic car. But I, I can actually even drive manual. I'm probably rusty because it's been about two years, honestly. Honestly, around this time, 2021, I was taking driving lessons pretty consistently. I got my learner's permit. And the only reason I didn't end up getting my license was because I was traveling so much. As we know, I went to New York, I got signed and it just kind of like faded away. Anyway, when I got my wallet stolen, my learner's permit was in it. I was like, fuck, I'm gonna have to request a new one. I didn't request a new one when I was in LA because, well, I was in LA and it's an English one. Anyway, last week, out of the blue, I get an email from the St. James Trafalgar, is that how you pronounce it? Fuck. Hotel. They found it. Somehow, a year later, they found it. As well as my Max saw lip liner. Yeah, they saw my name, researched me online, saw my Instagram, my emails in my Instagram, so emailed me about it. Ah! I have it back. If you've been watching my channel since the very beginning. You know that this is so special to me because I got this when I went to Paris, guys, the OG Paris vlogs from when I was like literally like 13, 14. It's my 14th birthday. And I went to Paris and I went to the Chanel on Rue Cambon. This is my first ever Chanel like thing, aside from makeup and stuff. I just remember being so excited about it, especially that I got it in Paris. Like it was just this huge deal. It's honestly so heartbroken when I thought I would never have it back because it's more than just a Chanel card holder. Like it's got so much sentimental value. I remember like the sheer excitement. I remember that day so clearly. I also met a Victoria's Secret model because this was like right when they were holding the Victoria's Secret fashion show in Paris. But that day when I was shopping around with my mom there were just like crowds of paparazzi and like you were constantly seeing like Victoria's Secret models it was really cool but as I was saying I'm gonna be home for a week and I don't really have any way to get anywhere the nearest train station to me is an hour and 40 minutes walk which I could do you know that's how long my normal hot girl walks are yeah also Liv's just gone back to university so it's not like she can just come over and hang out with me i need to take a moment to tell you guys how good this face powder is that i just started using it's from kanibo which is a it's a japanese beauty brand but i'm pretty sure they sell it in harrods but i bought this when i was in japan just simply because i had left my face powder at home i forgot to pack it i was like shook this is by far the best powder i've ever used in my life and i will never go back it sets your makeup beautifully it doesn't look cakey at all no matter how much you really pack it on it leaves your skin still looking like skin literally the best powder i've ever used in my whole life it's like immediately gone into my top three makeup products of all time i also wanted to talk about what i am doing with my life right now because I did an instagram q a a couple days ago and i got a lot of questions of you guys kind of asking where i see myself going now and what's kind of going on for my next chapter in life do i see myself moving anywhere else am i gonna stay home am i still doing modeling youtube like all these questions so I thought I'd kind of take a second to talk about that because I've been having one of those little like it's not even a midlife crisis I'm 20. I feel like a lot of people when they're in their like very late teens like they finish high school or whatever they're like going into uni or who knows maybe you're not going into uni and in your very young 20s you're in this awkward position where you have so much pressure to kind of figure out what you want to do with your life and it's overwhelming and i've always been the type of person to if someone asks me what are you doing with your life i can sit there and talk for an hour because i have everything planned out from what i'm gonna be doing when i'm 20 when i'm 25 30 35 40 always had my whole life planned out and that's why like i never thought i was but i think i'm a little bit of a control freak because when things start to kind of not go according to plan i like freeze up and I don't know what's going on and I freak out. That's kind of what happened for me for when I moved to LA this past time is things didn't really go according to plan, like at all. The plan was not to get there and for my mental health to deteriorate and have to take a break from modeling, get myself into a not so healthy relationship, it just happened. I, I think honestly, sometimes you just gotta keep learning your lesson until you learn your lesson. I think I finally learned my lesson, not to let my life get taken over by a boy. And I think this is like, the hardest lesson I've learned with it all, really. And so it honestly left me with a lot of self-doubt. It took away 
my confidence a lot. Ew, I hate talking about that, I know. Always cringed at the thought of like being insecure. So you know on my channel, like I'm very confident, or at least I like to put out that. Always a fake it till you make a person. And so to answer the question, I still really want to do modeling. I actually want to go back to social media more than ever. I think it's because I've now also realized that I don't want to do social media for the wrong reasons. Or like before, whenever I would try and get back to YouTube, the reason why it never worked out for me long term or I wouldn't stay consistent was because I wouldn't get the views that I once had or the video didn't go viral, I'd just be really like disheartened or when you do it for the wrong reasons, YouTube just doesn't grow. I have noticed that countless times. Because when I started YouTube, I wasn't doing it for the views or to get famous or anything. Like I just enjoyed doing it. If a video went viral, obviously I loved that, but but if a video didn't go viral, I didn't really care. That's why I was able to stay so consistent. Consistency is key to any sort of success, whether that's health, weight loss, a job, doing anything in life. If you want to be successful, you need to be consistent. That's why my YouTube channel did so well at the beginning. I was just consistent and I didn't care about views or followers and things like that. And that's kind of how I feel right now. I would love to aim like to post twice a week, like maybe like one vlog, one sit down video. But yeah, once again, guys, don't, don't hate me too much if my vlogs are like not the best quality or shaky or whatever obviously i want you guys to enjoy it but also my vlogs are mainly just memories for myself to look back on but i am going to aim to put more effort into my sit down videos but yeah for modeling i still really want to do modeling as we know right now i am taking a break whilst i'm in england just whilst i get my shit together and to start feeling good about myself again and whilst i am aware that the modeling industry is a lot more inclusive i'm sure if i wanted to get right back into modeling i could Oh, that sounded a bit confident. <laughs> so I just want to wait until I've gone back into shape and feel confident again. Modeling truly is one of those jobs where you have to be confident. To be able to get anywhere in this industry, you really do have to have a lot of confidence. Don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that you aren't also a little insecure here and there, because I know a lot of people do talk about how models are honestly probably some of the most insecure people. However, because most of the time they fake confidence. But the only way I feel like I'll do well in this industry is if I'm confident. I actually do see myself moving somewhere again, but I do not want to be signing another year lease for a while. I think I just want to do some traveling. Like I think I struggle a lot when I go a long time without seeing my family. I definitely used to think I was a lot more independent than I actually am but like no I need my mom I need my family I need to be home I need my dogs I really want to look into like subleasing doing like a few months of Airbnb in a couple different cities okay here's where I really want to live Japan after going to Japan I'm set I, I need to live there I need to live in Japan manifesting it now guys hopefully next year I'll live in Japan for a few months and I would love to do modeling in Japan Japan for like three months would be a dream as well as Paris I love the idea of Paris because it's so close to home it's like literally a half an hour flight so I would love to do Paris for a few months as well honestly I still love New York so much and especially after watching my New York vlogs like I just remember how remember how excited for life I always felt when I was there I would love to go to New York for a few months I could even live with my sister that could be fun uh, even New York's a lot closer to home than LA was New York is definitely still on my list honestly that's where I was gonna like moved to originally, I wish I did. The only reason I ended up going to LA instead was just because I thought, okay, well, I seemed to be getting good work in LA. I already had a bunch of friends there that I knew. But looking back, I definitely wish I'd gone to New York instead. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't have any regrets because I learned so much from when I lived there, but New York is still 100% on my radar. And, and also London. I haven't said anything about that, but yeah, definitely London. Also this eyeliner that I got from Japan is like the best eyeliner I've ever used. My other little eyeliner things, after like 10 uses, they suck. And this one I've been using so much. Ugh, it's the best and it does not budge. I need a good like new mascara recommendation. Oh my God, I need to pee so bad again. It's because of how much water I drink, guys. I love this song. The one from you was sweet. Oh. Disruptors and soul collective instructors and smooth talking lobster. Lining with Chanel nude brun. Super you. I Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just gonna dab that. Literally, I love how I'm getting ready right now to literally go nowhere. I'm just make TikToks in my bedroom. Or actually, I might walk to the grocery store. See if there's any cute boys. I'm kidding. I, I got a question on my Instagram the other day. What's dating in London like? And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I've never dated an English guy. I don't know. I think it's because whenever I come back to England, I like to hibernate and just be alone and not talk to anyone and not have boy drama. Like, I honestly, I come home back to England to recover and heal from my boy drama. Dating life right now... I don't know. I think I just need to build a roster, turn my emotions off. My new motto is I'm single till I have a ring. 
So yeah, I'll marry a guy. No more boyfriends. Anyway, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Bye.